everyone my name is Ram and welcome to Sprint Master in today's video we are going to solve the problem find a triplet in an array that adds up to a given sum we have previously solved a problem similar to this one to find a pair that adds up to a given sum if you haven't watched that yet I'm dropping a link in the description below as well as you can click at the top right corner of your video as you all know for every coding question there are multiple ways of solving the question and for this particular question there are at least four different ways of solving this question and i am going to make a video on each of these solutions and in today's video we are going to focus on the brute force technique on solving this question before jumping into the solution first try to understand the question and we do that with the following example let us say you have an array of six elements one five nine two eight four and you are supposed to find a triplet from here which adds up to a given sum of 15. now what you do you find triplets uh, what triplets are possible which can add up to 15. 1 5 9 these three add up to 15 and then 5 2 8 and then 9 2 4. yep these are the triplets that are possible in this array which adds up to a given sum of 15. The most straightforward and the simplest solution for this problem would be to find the triplets in this array and see if any of these triplets add up to the sum 15. If you want to calculate the triplets in this array, it would be something like 1, 5, 9, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5, 8, so on, something like this. So let us try to take a look at the code for this approach and we can talk from there. Here is the code for the brute force technique which we just talked about. So you have a function find triplet and the parameters for this function are the array and the sum. You are trying to find a triplet in this array which adds up to this sum. So the first thing you do is you do the edge case check. So if the array size is less than 3 it means that there are no triplets in this array. And once you do this check then the actual logic for this application begins. So what you are trying to do is you are trying to find an element i in the elements between 0 and n minus 2. So if you, this is your array, this is a 0 position and this is some n position in this case it is equal to 6. Right? You are trying to find an element between 0 and n minus 2. So your i iteration will go from here until here. So this is i. So once you find an element from this particular set then what you do is you try to find an element j which starts from i plus 1th element and it goes until n minus 1 element so your j starts from here and it goes until 8 so this will be j and the third third element of your triplet will be k which starts with j plus 1 so your k starts from here and it goes until this element so this is k you find a triplet in this array with this loops and once you find a triplet you try to see if uh, this sum the summation of this triplet is equal to the given sum if it is equal to the given sum you print out that triplet and you are good if you don't find anything you won't be printing anything so you don't find any triplets in this given array the time complexity of this approach would be o of n cube this is because you have three loops and let us say in the first loop you are iterating over n minus 2 elements right and for each of the element in this n minus 2 set you are doing again n minus 2 operations and for each of the element in the second loop you are doing again n minus 2 operations with the third loop so n minus 2 remember we always take only the dominant terms in the time complexity so it is n into n into n which is n cube that is the time complexity of this approach the complete solution for this approach can also be found in my blog and i am dropping a link in the description below make sure you check that out as well this is the most crude approach for the given problem and there are many op optimized ways of solving this problem and i'll be solving one of the optimized ways in my next video so make sure you stay tuned i hope you like today's video and if you do please click the like button below and share this video with your friends and also make sure you subscribe to our channel sprint master for more videos
as always thanks for watching this video and see you all in the next video take care you all until then bye bye